Consider the analysis of forces acting on a log as a tractor pulls it at a constant speed. A free body diagram can be used to help us visualize the forces acting on this object. The system is simply the part of the universe you want to describe. It can be a really big system or a little tiny object. If we say we want to analyze the forces acting on the log, then the log becomes our system. Everything else is referred to as the surroundings or the environment. The shape and size of the object is not important, so to keep our diagrams from becoming too cluttered, we are going to shrink it down to a point. And then we are going to actually identify all of the forces acting on the object. Now keep in mind that forces are vectors because they act in some direction. So we want to draw an arrow proportional to the size of the force and in the direction in which the force acts. For example, this is occurring on Earth. So there is a force of gravity pulling down on the log. You might imagine that this diagram is going to have several different forces acting on it. So we want to label each one to help keep them straight. The vector for the force of gravity is given the designation of F sub G. You might notice that the log does not continue to fall towards the center of the Earth. That is because the solid ground is in the way and is exerting force upwards on the log. This is referred to the normal force and is shown as an F sub N. Notice that the vectors for gravitational force and normal force are the same size. Think of the forces as sides of a tug of war. Gravity is pulling down and the normal force is pushing up. If either one of them were larger, then there would be an acceleration in that direction. As it is, there's no vertical motion at all, so the forces must be balancing each other. This particular log is being pulled by a rope attached to the tractor. So the rope is exerting a force to the right. Since the force is a pull being directly applied, we can name this force the tension force and abbreviate it as F sub T. You can probably imagine that since the log is in contact with the ground, there is some sort of friction between the two. Basically, friction is the force that results when two surfaces rub together. Friction acts in the direction opposite of the motion. In this case, the object is actually moving, so we call it kinetic friction and label it F sub K. If you remember from the initial description, we said that the log was moving at a constant speed to the right. A constant speed means that there is no acceleration, so the tension force being applied by the rope must be equal to the friction force pulling in the other direction. So let's say we have a book sitting on the table. We know that gravity is pulling it towards the earth. However, the book is not falling, so the table must be exerting an equal magnitude normal force upwards to keep it in place. Since the book is at rest, we can safely say that the book does not have a force acting in the horizontal direction. So we have no forces acting in that direction. Since the normal force is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the gravity force, we can say that the forces acting on the book are balanced. So let's say we apply a rightward force to our book. Gravity is still pulling it towards the earth. And the book is not falling, so the table must be exerting an equal magnitude normal force upwards to keep it in place. We are applying a rightward force to the book. We can simply label this as an applied force in our diagram. Now we are applying a force, but the book is moving at a constant velocity. If the velocity is constant, then the force acting to the right must be balanced by another force acting to the left. Since there are two surfaces in contact moving against each other, we recognize this force as kinetic friction. The gravity force and the normal force are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, and the friction force and the applied force are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. We can again say that the forces acting on the book are balanced. So what if our car is coasting to the right and slowing down? We know that gravity is pulling it towards the earth, However, the car is not falling, so the ground must be exerting an equal magnitude normal force upwards to keep it in place. Our car is coasting to the right. This implies that there is not a force acting in that direction, but it is slowing down, so there must be some force acting to the left. 
This is the kinetic friction force acting between the tires and the ground. Notice that the vertical forces are balanced, which makes sense because there's no vertical acceleration. However, the horizontal forces are unbalanced. Our rightward moving car is slowing down, which means there is an acceleration to the left. This is shown in the force diagram by a higher magnitude force arrow in that direction.